Good afternoon people, it's Wednesday the 18th of September today, it's a lovely day again. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on Kiki's, Orchid Kiki's, spelt K-E-I-K-I. -I. It's a Hawaiian term for baby or young ones. And it's most often associated with Phalaenopsis, Dendrobiums and Epidendrums. And basically what it is, is uh, one of the growth points where a branch would come out or a bunch of flowers would come out. And instead of producing, producing a branch or a bunch of flowers, it will produce a little plant instead. Now it's, it's a natural process. Usually it's a, it's a process that's caused by either the breeding of the plant or some change in environment where... For example, dendrobiums often produce kikis instead of bunches of flowers, usually when they're grown a little bit too warm. Now you can bypass this natural product, this natural process, by using something called kiki, kiki paste, or in our case, kiki clone. Now this is a, a cytokinin-based hormone product, um, whereby it will seep into the plant tissues around one of the buds that I'm about to show you, uh, and force that bud, the uh, meristem of that bud, to produce a plant rather than a bunch of flowers or a branch. So we're going to apply this to a Phalaenopsis, um, and we sell this product by the way on the link that's now shown. Um, we've got European or in fact worldwide shipping of this product. It's dead easy to apply, all that's required is the stuff itself and a toothpick. So I'm going to Go in nice and close so hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now this is the process in detail and close up. Hopefully you can see this and follow it easy enough. Now this bud here that you can see, this bud has never flowered and it's never produced a flower spike or a side branch like this one. So that's a perfect candidate for it, for this kiki paste. And what you've got to do very carefully is you have to remove the sheath that's covering the bud. Toothpick is usually the best best thing to use, at least to get it going anyway. It can be quite tricky. There we go. Now you've got to be careful not to damage the bud that's underneath the sheath. Incidentally, when we supply the kiki paste, they also give you a toothpick. There we go. That's exposing it. Can you see that there? That little green bud. That's the baby that you're looking for. It's undamaged, which is exactly what you want. Now then, what you need to do with your toothpick now is to get a little blob of the kiki paste and apply it over the bud just put a little bit more on there it's a straightforward process it's just a little bit fiddly there we go that has now completely covered that bud And that's the first stage to your kiki production. You can do this on more than one bud if you want. It's up to you. So now you treat that as normal. Uh, it's, it's going to be waterproof in there. And leave this with the rest of your collection. Once the kiki paste has been in place, as I've just shown you, it's going to take perhaps three, four, five, six months or more. And what will happen over that period of time is that the hormones will seep into the bud, into the tissues of the plant itself, and they will cause a change to occur. And that's when you get little plants growing. And here's some Phalaenopsis that we did last year. These are now uh, about 13 months old, using the Kiki paste that I've just shown you. 
Now these are just starting to grow roots as you can see but they're not quite big enough to remove and as with all the kikis these plants will be exact clones of this one in actual fact it's the same plant but you can pot them up and it's a good way of reproducing plants your favorite plant or plants that you just can't get hold of anymore this is a good way of reproducing that phalaenopsis now the other type of plant where you often see kikis is dendrobium and as you can see with this one this one has produced one two three four kiki plants these things here instead of bunches of flowers last year it had a bunch of flowers as you can see now this is usually caused with this type of plant by growing it too warm uh, during the period where flower buds start to develop which is usually the autumn uh, at the end of the summer but it can be at other times of year as well now these are a bit too small to remove just at the minute because they've got no aerial roots but as soon as these have got aerial roots probably about this long you can then snap these off and pot them up and you'll end up with a nice healthy clone like this now this is a, this is the same plant as the one I've just shown you this is a clone from that plant from earlier this year uh, and it's taken away it's rooted away and it's growing like mad and now this is an exact clone of this so the flowers will be identical uh, another plant which also produces kikis very very readily is the epidendrums like this one now you can see the massive roots on this and each one of these is a kiki as you can see there's quite a few on this and again it's a simple matter of waiting until they've got roots of a decent length snapping off the plant in fact I'll snap one off just to give you an idea hopefully you can see that take this one off and grab the stem firmly and give it a good twist Big one to one side, and there we've got a lovely kiki. Now, this one is Epidendrum ballerina, it's an orange flower. And all we need to do with this now is using a nine centimeter pot in this case, or an eight and a half centimeter pot, put those roots inside, and curl them so as not to break them, or at least try not to break them and today I'm using a coarse bark which is 12 to 18 millimeters just plain bark uh, as you can see we've given it a nice tap push down firm down as we said before you can't really over compact this material give it as much of a push as you can now for this particular plant it's actually nice and upright anyway so it's not necessary to put a stick in but if it's if it's leaning which some of them do Stick your stick in and put some wire around it or use these clips. Now these clips come in, we, we sell these on the link that you can see below. These come in green or clear. And it's simply a matter of putting your stick into the pot as close to the stem as you can. And then snapping it around like that. Dead easy. And don't forget to put your name tag in, Epidendrum Ballerina. Give it a good water and away it will grow. And this is one that I did last year of the same plant. As you can see, it's already flowered. Now, incidentally, on a side issue with these, when you get this flower stem, which was up here, uh, you don't remove the flower stem on epidendrums because what will happen is you'll get kikis growing all the way along it, all along the nodes. So leave them on. If they go brown you can chop them off but normally they'll stay green and produce babies. So that's your kiki.